It's Jumpstart Cooking Time again with Donovan Fondre, your host. In one of our previous shows, we did fresh broccoli. Turned out so beautiful and green, tender, crispy, and just perfect, cooked in the serving dish. Now, what could be better to top that off than a hollandaise sauce? Whenever I mention hollandaise sauce, people say, oh my God, it's so much work. Because you gotta heat a pot on the stove, melt the butter, add the eggs, gradually continue stirring for about seven minutes of constant attention and stirring on the stove. Well, we're gonna do it the modern microwave way, and we do it right in our cruet for serving. But first of all, I wanna soften the butter. Just leave it in the paper, put it in your microwave for about, oh, 12 seconds. That should be just fine. And if you microwave your lemons before you squeeze them, you'll get about twice as much juice. And I wanna show you that right now. So I'm gonna cut this guy in half. I've just microwaved this lemon for one minute and I'm cutting it over the strainer because the juice will just seep out of there. And look how easy that is. For you gals out there who say, honey, come here and squeeze my lemons because they can be very, very difficult to squeeze, but not when they've been microwaved. Because the microwave energy breaks down the fibers inside the membrane in the lemon and then you have pure juice. So soften the butter. And we're just going to cut it up into about four equal size segments. Add those right to your cruet. One quarter pound of butter. To this, we're going to add three egg yolks. The easiest way to separate eggs is to crack them open, put them in the palm of your hand, and let the white drain off, and the yolk stays here. Add it to that. Two, and save the whites. You know, you can freeze them, and then when you thaw them out, you can make a beautiful meringue. And we're going to do that when we do some of our desserts like oeufs a la neige that you think, oh, God, that sounds so complicated. But it's a beautiful, wonderful French recipe for an elegant dessert. And one more yolk. And we are just about ready. Separate it easily and ready to cook. All right, now I'm going to put a little bit of lemon juice in here and then we're going to season it and taste it and see if it's right and then put the rest of it in. So there's our lemon juice with the pulp and all placed in here. Now, what I want to do is to break up the yolks. So I just stir them around a little bit with the butter so they just kind of blend together like that and we don't have the yolk in a solid form. There they are, okay? Now, we microwave this, how long? About a minute. That's all it takes compared to constant stirring for seven minutes on top of the stove. So, here we are, one minute. And I'm going to stand by here because it's necessary for me to stir it now because you want to blend that together and make it a smooth, delicious sauce. Then we'll taste it, add more lemon juice if it needs it. You can add white pepper, you can add Worcestershire sauce, a little bit of Tabasco. Any of the seasonings that you find in your cookbooks are just fine with that. So when the handle comes around, I've left my fork in the oven so I can stir this up easily without removing the fork and creating a mess on my counter. And back we go for a few more seconds. That was 20 seconds. Now we'll do another 20 and then stir and 20 and stir and we'll have a perfect hollandaise sauce. It's so easy. Sometimes when you cook with your microwave, you realize, why did I ever do this the hard way? And the reason is you haven't been taught how to really get the money's worth out of your microwave. And that's what you get when you watch our show. Okay, time to stir again. Make sure that sauce is just as smooth as can be and not lumpy. Stir it up, beautiful, beautiful, thin, luscious sauce. And again, I'm doing it right in my gravy boat. Makes it so much easier. And again, I don't have another pot to clean. We save dishes, we save water, we save time, we save energy, and we're cooking as if we cooked the old fashioned way. It looks great and tastes great, but cooked in a much uh, shorter period of time. Okay, just about ready. Now, another 10, 12 seconds, and we have perfect hollandaise sauce. Now when you get toward the end of the cooking here, you gotta reduce the amount of time that you leave it in there because remember, hollandaise sauce is butter and eggs. And eggs can cook and you can get a very buttery scrambled eggs if you don't watch it. Here we are, Nixon. One famous food writer wrote when she, she was actually a guest on my TV show and she uh, wrote a very successful microwave cookbook, but she really didn't understand it. And she said that I was a blinkered cook because you know what blinkered means, I can't see the recipe for what it's worth. Because opening and closing the microwave door is such a chore. You kidding? 
three, four times instead of stirring constantly for 12 minutes on the stove and I'm the blinkered one? No way. This is the easiest, best way to make perfect hollandaise sauce every time. And this is our last segment of the one minute. Are you ready? Oh, am I ever ready. To stir it up, blend the heat together. Now I think you can see in there, now that's still a little bit thinner than I like. So I'm going to give it a little, another 10 seconds and it should be perfect. Remember, when you're doing microwave, you are the cook and not the machine. People say, oh, I don't like the way food comes out of a microwave. It doesn't come out, you take it out. Human beings are cooks, not machines. So you have to test and poke and taste and check your recipes before you serve them. Now we're just perfect. Oh, you're going to love this. That was a minute and 10 seconds. Quarter pound of butter, three egg yolks. You can actually cut it down to two egg yolks if you want. Now I'm going to taste this. Definitely needs more lemon juice. So at this point we add the rest of our lemon juice. Remember what I told you, you can put in other things such as white pepper, Worcestershire, try to get the white Worcestershire sauce. Tabasco, that's good too, but we're just going to make a simple lemony one because we're serving it on vegetables or fish. I like this one for fish too. Are you ready? You guys, can you get that picture of this beautiful broccoli? And here goes our thickened, wonderful hollandaise sauce. Right in the serving dish. And then we take our gravy boat, set it aside, pass it around the table. So if people want more hollandaise sauce, they can just pour it right from the cooking container. But a beautiful, glamorous serving and cooking container. That's your jump site tip for today. Remember, all of these tips and much more information are in our cookbook, Jump Start Cooking. Cook the old-fashioned way, but faster and more efficiently.